Hello everyone. So today we are going to see parameterized cursor. So whenever we are passing a parameter to the cursor at the time of declaration, it is called as parameterized cursor. This parameter cursor want to declare, then we follow the following two steps. So if we are working with parameterized cursor, then we must follow these following two steps. First one is declaration of parameterized cursor. So for declaration the syntax is declare cursor then cursor name then we have to pass here parameter and its data type and select statement is here then we have to open the parameterized cursor but while opening we must pass the parameter so here we will see one of the example so example one is write a cursor program to accept department number as a parameter and display the number of employees working in the given department from the employee table so let us go to sql plus now i have already here a table you can also create and here what we will do we will write a cursor program which will take the department number and in that department number whatever employees are there that will print so uh, let us write the program cursor program so declare cursor c1 now here we have to take a parameterized cursor so here parameter i will take as a department number of type here we have to uh, return the data type of this variable so this is a parameter department number and its data type is number now here is select what we have to do employee name comma department number from which table from employee table where parameter department number is equals to no here we have to take department number column is equal to parameter department number so here what we are doing here we are declaring a cursor in that cursor we will pass this department number and according to that we will write here a query select employee name and department number from employee where department number is equal to this parameter so now let us and here we will also declare one uh, two variables that is first one is employee name office type where care two of size 10 and variable department number of type number of size 10 now this is declaration block is done now it's time to go for execution block so execution block started with begin then first step uh, uh, second step is we have to open the cursor but while opening the cursor we must pass this parameter so so open what is cursor name c1 and here we will take the department number from the user and we will pa call this cursor so ampersand parameter department number so what will happen here we will add the runtime we will pass the value here if we pass 10 then what happen here if we pass 10 it will go to call here and it will assign the value to this variable as 10 then our this will be executed select employee name and department number from employee table where department number is equal to this parameter what is the parameter value 10 so whatever employees who are working with the department number 10 that we will see now open the cursor and next statement is we have to fetch the data so for that i am using here loop loop and here we will fetch c1 into variable employee name and variable department number so i have already created the videos on these looping statements you can also watch and how to fetch the data from the cursor by using looping statement also i have created video you can watch that also i will give the link of this pl sql playlist in the description so here we are fetching the data into these variables now semicolon then we need to write here a condition to exit from the loop so for that exit when c1 percentile not found this is a we are using this will return a boolean value if there is no data in that c1 in that case it will exit from the loop 
and next we need to write end of the loop and uh, end of the execution and let us execute this so here we forgot to uh, print let me execute this here we will not get anything because we didn't print here dbms underscore output let me print here let me copy this uh, yeah copy and here we go paste so here we forgot to print that in the previous that's why we are not getting here any output after fetch we need to print the data so same program i have written but here we include the output so let me execute this and after executing if we take here a 20 and uh, here we go we are getting the employee name and department number here what we what is happening let us see here we are passing 20 it is asking us for enter the value of department number because we have taken here a percent then the value will be stored here what is the value 20 then it will call here it will go to here and this select will be select employee name comma department number from employee where department number equals to parameter department number so 20 will go here and the, all the data all the employees which is having the department number 20 will be stored in the cursor then we are fetching the data from the cursor and here we are printing the data so this is a condition from exit from the loop exit when c1 percentile not found and end of the loop close the cursor and end of the execution block and execute the program so whatever here we can see in the table 20 is this miller smith raja raja this 20 miller is printing here we can see go down and miller smith allu and james whatever the employees that are present in department 20 if we execute and if we give here a department called 30 and here we go whatever the employees present in department number 30 here we can see raja rajesh raju sai so whatever the employees present in department 30 here we can see Raja, Rajesh, here Raju, yeah. So this is the way we can use parameterized constructor. Parameterized, sorry, cursor. So first step you have to do is declare the parameterized cursor. And second step is open the parameterized cursor. While opening, we need to pass the parameter name and value or the value. And this is the declaration.